All right, you can see that I flipped over the Chromebook on its back, and one of the things we have to do is take out all the screws for the case in order to get that thing off. And once we get it off, it's fairly easy to take the right protect screw out once you locate it. Anyway, one of the things we're going to do is remove all the screws. So there's obviously screws at each corner that we can see, but unbeknownst to you on this particular model and on some models, they are hidden either under the little feet here or they'll be hidden additional screws under these. Well, on the 3180, it's really pretty simple. They're hidden under these two little blank uh, fill-in spots here. If we just take a little pointy mechanism, I happen to have this one. You can use any kind of little pointy mechanism, whether it's plastic or it's metal, uh, and just simply kind of rub those off. And by rubbing them off, I mean dig in really pretty good there, and you'll see the top of them come off. Okay, so that one's finally off now. And you can see that I can just toss that one away, that little piece away. I'm never going to use that one again. And then I'm going to take this other one. That one came off much easier. Now all I have to do is remove all four screws. And I'm going to pause the video while I do that, but it's just a matter of having a smaller screwdriver head, a Phillips screwdriver head, fairly small, and then take out these six screws. Now this is this Chromebook only. Uh, I got to tell you, even Dell has some differences in terms of where the screws are located um, and how many there are. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to pause for just a minute. All right, so I've removed the screws, or loosened the screws in this case. This particular Chromebook, the screws do not come out all the way. They loosen completely, and you want to make sure they're all the way loosened, but they will not come out. So they're tapered on one end, and it's good because that way you don't lose any screws or anything like that. But it is kind of unique to this one. Uh, many of the Chromebooks that we work with, the screws come out. I put them in a little magnetic pan so I don't lose them, um, and then screw them, use them to screw everything back in. But these are unique again. All right, now I'm going to use a pry bar, the same little pry tool that I had here. You can use plastic ones too. But I'm going to get under the edge in this case. And I'm just going to, well, let's see if I can do this on film here. And I'm just going to pull up the lip and then take my pry bar underneath it. And you can hear it popping now. You want to make sure all the screws are loose or otherwise you're going to be fighting yourself here. All right, I'm going to stop the video and just take it off. Okay, part of the problem was in getting it off, I forgot to loosen that screw. So even though I said there's six, there's actually seven on here. Even I can make that mistake even when I'm filming here. I've done probably 500 of this model um, in terms of taking the covers off, so it doesn't take very much to pull it off. There you go. Once you've got it, to a certain stage, it comes off quite easily. It comes off in one piece. There's no little bits and everything that come flying out at you when you do that. Now, when we go to take out the right protect screw, uh, I know where it is on this one and all the others, but the, I tell you what, when I get a new Chromebook in and it is a Toshiba or it's a HP or something, even variations of Dells, the right protect screws are in different spots. So sometimes you have to go look on the internet and you can just do a search for right protect screw, W-R-I-T-E, um, and the model number of the Chromebook that you're looking for. And usually somebody is out there who's taken a picture of it. Well, in this case, for us, located right here, and fortunately, um, Dell has put in WP screw right here for us. That's a little screw that I have to take out. It's not... Difficult to take out or anything, um, but it's just something that that you know you don't you have to find it first. Uh, there's another um, model of Dells that I'm working with right now where the right protect screw is upper in this area. So and it doesn't say right protect screw. It's just one of those things where uh, you have to look it up and make sure that that's the right screw that you take out. All right, so I'm going to take this particular screw out. And that's all you have to do. That little piece right there is enough to be annoying. Uh, but that's what you have to take, it, take out in order to 
uh, update the BIOS. So I'm going to go and put this thing back together, put the screws on it, and that's going to be the end of the video here for this one. It's just a matter of taking the right protect screw out. If you don't take the right protect screw out, you're eventually going to get an error in this process, and it won't, it'll tell you that the right protect screw is still turned to, in there. Now, I will point out one of the things here. Dells have been very good about when I take the right protect screw out, everything is fine. I've had some HPs that where I take the right protect screw out, and for whatever reason, there's a little coating on this area here that still makes the connection for the right protect screw. So what I usually do in that case uh, is try minimal things first, where I take a little bit of alcohol on a rag and I kind of try to dissolve that little coating just by using that. You know, I, I, there for a while I took a Dremel and was really going at it there and I went too far and of course then yeah, you have problems with that. The second thing I do if that doesn't work is I take a little piece of sandpaper under my fingertip and just wiggle it around there just a little bit, maybe five or ten times as I'm kind of spinning it around to remove the coating on top of that. Because that can be really annoying when you think you've got the screw out and you know you've got the screw out and yet the system is still saying the right protect is still turned on. So uh, those are two methods that I use if I run into that kind of situation where the right protect screw, it still tells me once we get a little bit further along in this process, the right protect screw is still in place. All right, that's the end of this video. On our second video, we'll be talking about how to boot up into developer mode, which is something that you need to do.